going to start with this maracuja oil by Tarte as my moisturizer. Now I'm going to apply this face primer and this is by Hourglass Cosmetics and it's a Veil Mineral Primer. Next I am using this Giorgio Armani foundation and this is the Luminous Silk foundation and I am applying this with my beauty blender. To warm up the skin, I am using this MAC bronzer and this is the Delphic bronzer from the Alluring Aquatics collection. Now I am going to contour my face to give it some definition and I am using my favorite bronzer of all times. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and this brush is by Benefit. Now to brighten the under eye area, I am using this LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and this is in the shade Creamy Beige. This is becoming my new favorite concealer, it's amazing. As eyeshadow primer, I am using this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This base helps the eyeshadow stay longer and also makes the color more vibrant. Using the Lorac Pro 2, I am going to start with this color which is LT Brown. And I am applying this with my MAC 217 blending brush and I am applying this on the crease as a transition color. Next, I am applying this silver shadow and I am using my MAC 239 and I am just applying this on my inner corner. Now I am going to use charcoal and I am using the same MAC 239 brush and I am applying this on the rest of my lid. I am making sure to pack this color really well and blend it with the silver at the same time. Next, I am going to take navy and I am using this smaller blending brush. This is a precision blending brush and I am concentrating this on the outer corner and the crease. The key to this look is blending. Here I am just taking my time, blending everything really well. Next, I am taking this color called beige and I am applying this as a highlight on my brow bone. Now I am going to line my waterline and I am using Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes color 25L. Next, I am taking that charcoal eyeshadow again and I am using MAX 219 pencil brush to smudge everything out and smoke it out. Now I am taking another Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes eyeliner and this is in the color 12L. Next, I am going to take cool gray eyeshadow and using my blending brush again, I am going to start blending out all the edges on the crease and the outer corner. Pretty much we are erasing any harsh lines and making sure everything is very well blended together. Here I am taking that precise blending brush again and I am applying a little bit more of the navy blue eyeshadow to the crease and blending everything together. The blending took away some of the charcoal eyeshadow so here I am just applying a little bit more and patting it over the other colors. And here I am also applying a little bit more of that silver color to the inner corners. Once again, I am taking the blending brush and just blend away. Now 
Now I'm taking chrome eyeshadow and applying this over the blue liner to smudge it out with my pencil brush. As final eyeshadow, I am applying this color Snow and I am applying this to the tear duct in my inner corner using MAC 242 brush. Next, I am doing my eyebrows and I am using my MAC 266 angle brush and Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. Now I'm going to line my eyes and I am using this Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner in black. If you have trouble lining your eyes, start making short strokes and then go over the line. Also, it is really important to find the right eyeliner for you. It could be a liquid eyeliner or a gel eyeliner. Next, I am applying false lashes and I am using House of Lashes Pixie Lux. These are one of my favorite lashes. Now I'm going to apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes and this is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Here I am adding a little bit more concealer to my under eyes to cover any eyeshadow fallout. Now I am going to apply some blush and this is La Femme Hollywood in the color Mandarin Red. Next I am going to apply some highlighter and this is my favorite highlighter at the moment. This is by Becca and it's called Opal. It's absolutely beautiful. And to finalize this look, I'm going to apply some lipstick. This is by Revlon and it is Nude Attitude. And I am going to top it off with this MAC lip gloss in the color Seducing Sound. Alright guys, this is the final look. I really hope that you like this video. If you did, please thumbs up the video and subscribe to see more. Thank you so much, God bless you and I see you on my next video.